the Africa Public Health Emergency Fund was approved by African member states in 2013, but is yet to be implemented. At the ongoing WHO African meeting, the agency has offered Africa this proposal, saying African countries need to set up the fund as soon as possible. The WHO strategy for emergency is valued at $106.8 million, with an aim of accelerating the international health responses in Africa. It will help countries to better frame their policy, strategy and plan to deal with health security and IHR. And uh, we have a number of countries have started already to implement some of the components. But having this frame and dealing with the legal framework at country level, making sure that across sectors we, we are all committed to implement what is required for IHR and health security. The unpreparedness of the African continent during the 2015 Ebola outbreak is just an example of how much the continent needs its own resources to respond timely. We need domestic investment because health security is the primary responsibility of the government. And when you start putting resources, you can call upon partners to help you to you know, mobilize additional resources. But we need to put it as a national priority. However, African countries say that supporting this fund is not enough. So as we advocate for establishment of this fund, it will be useful for countries to reflect and be able to build capacities within their own countries. After all, it is that capacity WHO is supposed to deploy. Where it is strong, they call upon those countries to support the other countries. With this fund in place, the hope of WHO is that by 2018, at least 80% of the 47 countries will have implemented necessary emergency response policies. The current challenge in making this fund functional is the fact that most African member states allocate insufficient resources to the health sector and rely heavily on unpredictable donor assistance during emergencies. Colette Anjoy for CCTV in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.